New at 6 o'clock, he shared his fortune to improve health care, education, and more here in Charlotte. Leon Levine died yesterday at the age of 85. His name, Jamie, is marked on buildings and institutions across our region. And tonight, here at 6 o'clock, we are honoring his life and his contributions to this place we call home. Humble beginnings in Wadesboro, North Carolina. Leon Levine was the youngest of four. His father died when Leon was only 12, and at that young age, he quickly took on more responsibility helping out at his family's department store. That might have been the catalyst to create a future for Leon as a businessman. In 1959, at just 22 years old, he opened the first family dollar store on Central Avenue in Charlotte. More than 2,000 family dollars were in operation nationwide by 1993, mostly in strip malls and to cater to people in a way the big discount stores didn't. What is this? This is a ceiling fan cleaner. My daughter, or granddaughter, one, I had one and they seemed to have borrowed it, never brought it back, so I had to come and buy me another one. In 2003, Leon retired from Family Dollar and began his second career building the Leon Levine Foundation into one of the country's largest and most impactful philanthropic organizations. In Charlotte, his foundation is responsible for the Levine Avenue of the Arts, Levine Museum of the New South, and the Levine Children's Hospital, just to name a few. They've supported programs throughout the history of Atrium Health, and they, are our largest, they were our largest donors, over $80 million that they contributed to our health system over time, which I believe really helped transform health care in our community and certainly within Atrium Health. The self-made, successful man who never finished college himself started one of the state's biggest scholarship programs. Leon and his wife Sandra donated millions to Queens University of Charlotte to build a wellness and recreation center. That was a transformative investment in Queens a decade ago that before Queens had a very, very modest approach towards wellness and competitive NCAA athletics, but after the investment in the Levine Center here, we are a dominant athletic program. I hate to imagine uh, where Queens would be without the uh, a Levine family. Together, Leon and Sandra continued to give back time and time again to various causes in the Charlotte area year after year. Just this past weekend, the Children's Hospital, with his namesake, held its annual gala. I was honored to MC. We raised a record-breaking $2.4 million to help the kids through the hospital. Sandra was there. She donated half a million of that large total from the Levine family. None of us would be here tonight if it weren't for the Levines. Generosity, giving for the greater good. I had the privilege of having known him for uh, over six years. Uh, he was a tremendous businessman. He was a visionary. He was ambitious, but he was also an incredibly compassionate man. What was Leon Levine's why? Ten years ago, this is what he told WBTV. We uh, want to do it because we, Charlotte's been good to us. We, we are not flashy people. We don't uh, try to appear on television all the time. Uh, we, we're doing this because of the fact that we, we want to get our message out. So thank you to the whole Levine family for all you do for our city. A funeral arrangements for Leon Levine have not yet been announced.